the power of the mind is just insane. It's positive for everything else. Well, that's really nice. I appreciate trees. Good morning. It's 6 30. I've woken up later than I want to. I just thought I'd share this with you. This is my projector. And it just fell. And it was going on my laptop. But luckily, my head broke the floor. That's why I haven't gotten up for the last 10 minutes. <laughs> so I've just been feeling sorry for myself. Anyway, I need to get up. It's dark outside. Which really makes you want to get up. Doesn't it? Let's see. Oh yeah. Completely pitch black. <sighs> Let's go. because I'm clearly the most super organized person. I've left my headphones at home, which is just great. Because it means uh, I have to listen to everyone else's conversations on the train, which is far from ideal for me. I was on a train full of people talking really fucking loudly, uh, but I also need them for work uh, to put headphones in and get on with stuff without people disturbing me. So I went into TK Maxx and I found this pair of Skullcandy headphones which were down from 15 to 5 pounds which is quite cool. So this is just outside my work. Pretty little canal. I've got some headphones, uh, Skullcandy headphones. And yeah they're quite good actually. Um, as I was opening the packet. I cut myself which kind of pissed me off for a second now I thought eh. The tiniest cut, does it matter? So also when I was in TK Maxx I got myself a selfie stick because it was on the shelf next to the headphones and I've been thinking about getting one and my good friend Julia had a whole saga of trying to find one. So I thought it would be better for me to just get it. I think it was like six pounds or something and it looks quite nice, I like it. And then I thought, well, I'm going to get a coffee. So I usually go to Nero or Prep, but I went to Costa and I decided to go in extra cheerful and the three members of staff there completely reciprocated it and it was just a lovely interaction which put me in a great mood. Except in, in the midst of all of that, somehow my coffee cost £3.60. That's a bloody expensive cup of coffee. Um, I better really enjoy it. That's about it. So I'm going to get on with my day of work and I'll catch up with you afterwards. Ridiculous. I'll just go with it. So this is Saturday morning. When I last saw you, I was sitting at work a few seconds ago by the power of technology, and that was Friday. So what happened after that? And why am I talking the next morning? Basically, it took me almost three hours to get home. It meant to take an hour, an hour and a half, so I was just very stressed by the end of it. I ran from work to the station as quickly as I could because I left and then again I'd left something at work. So I had to run back to work, run to the station, got to Clapham Junction and I got on my train which is extremely crowded and for whatever reason it just didn't stop at my station, it just carried on to somewhere else. So from that point to my house it took an hour to get home because I had to get a bus. I hate buses. I really just, I don't know why, I've just got this thing against buses, I just don't like them. Anyway, by the time I got home, I had an absolutely pounding headache. As I say, almost three hours. But when you think you're going to be home in less than an hour, and then it takes almost three. I got home later than I usually do, and I left work earlier than I usually do. Then I walked through the door, and I was, I was pissed off, I was just really angry. Now, 
throughout the whole day there'd been lots of bits and pieces of things that had sort of gone wrong. I can sort of see the funny side and see the light side. Eventually, you just get pissed off sometimes. That's sort of the point of what I'm saying now. Sometimes, just allow yourself to be pissed off. You're gonna be annoyed at things that go wrong sometimes. Just don't let that spiral you into being completely negative and saying everything's going wrong because then you start to basically make the prediction that everything is going to go wrong. Even if nothing's really going wrong, you will see it as more negative than it probably is. Or you'll look for the negative in things because you've made the decision that things are going wrong. So what do you do in that moment? You decide what it is that will make you feel better. I was hungry, I was tired, but I was so dead set on going climbing. I really wanted to go climbing. Hester came over. In the end, I needed to sit and eat something and be relaxed. As much as I wanted to go climbing, what I needed in that moment was just to sit and eat and relax. So it's important to recognise what you need to do to get yourself out of those situations. If you can do anything in that moment to make yourself feel better, do that because you don't want to spiral into negativity because that's just not nice for you or for anyone around you. So we had a nice chat, me and Hester, for about an hour and then I decided I'm still going to go to the gym because I still wanted to do something active even though I was tired but I needed some endorphins because I think it would make me feel better. Now even though it wasn't the best workout I've done, I showed up to the gym, I did a good workout. By the time I came home and had something to eat, I was so, so tired. I lay on my bed for a second and I just passed out in my gym clothes. I just want to say don't ever fall asleep in your gym clothes. And I had a horrible night's sleep because I kept waking up dehydrated. I just thought I need to get up and have a shower now because I just feel disgusted. Anyway, moral of my video is sometimes you will get pissed off. Sometimes little things add up and you're just going to have what feels like a shit day or you just get into a bit of a funk in, in your day because of these stupid little things that go wrong. That doesn't have to be a prediction for the rest of the day or for how you feel in general. That can just be what it is. There are positive things that happened. Look at those positive things, what happened? One of my colleagues from work with my friends, good friends, got a really good job. I'm really happy for him, that's so cool, it's amazing. And what else is good? I got some new headphones, that's awesome. They're really good headphones. I didn't need them, but meh. But I've got this selfie stick that I'm using now as well. Yeah, you start to look at all these little positive things and they completely do outweigh the negatives because the negatives are just not really that negative. Yeah, that's it. Sounds cheesy, but it's very, very true. Once you start to think about the lighter side, the positive side of things. For example, the other morning, it was raining and cold. I do not like cold and rain at all. I don't think many people do, but I really can't stand it. Instead of going out in the morning with a really shitty attitude, I thought, what's the positive side of this? Okay, well, the rain is feeding all the nature and plants and stuff, which is positive for everything else. Well, that's really nice. I appreciate trees and nature and beauty, and that all needs to grow with some water. So it sounded really abstract and it sounds a bit silly. At the same time, it genuinely did help with my attitude towards the situation I was in. So always try and look at what you can get out of the situation by thinking about it differently because the power of the mind is just insane. Okay, I need to have a shower and something to eat and start my day. So that's all from my Friday vlog, even though this is now Saturday morning. But lovely to talk to you. We'll talk again soon. This is my first vlog and there'll be many more. So like comment, subscribe, do whatever you like. It would be nice to hear from you. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Ciao.